Bailey's probably saying, I'm going to shake your hand and then I'm going to kick your head off. He's probably saying it in the sweetest voice possible. There we go. Told you. He's through to his Told word, isn't he? And look at this speed ball by Bailey Brainbuster. What a combination from the challenger. And this is exactly why Michael Oku's an underdog. Now, as I say, Andy, for me, Oku is at his best when he is the underdog. And look at this. He's coming back swinging. It's what makes him turn up. Absolutely, the motivation of proving people wrong, exactly. the motivation of making history as now Speedball Mike Bailey and Michael Oku exchanging. There is nothing wrong with being the underdog. It means that every time you go out there, you've got incentive to prove everybody wrong. Yeah, you remain hungry, don't you? Exactly, no complacency. Oh. Maybe there was a bit of complacency there. Well, they say as you start to make money, it gets a little bit harder, it hurts a little bit more when you get punched in the face, doesn't it? Michael Oku, however, is remaining hungry, nice. remaining focused. Hurricane Rana follows up in combination with a drop kick, and the champion is rocking. And it was a real concern that he was going to get smoked early, wasn't there, in those first <laughs> yeah, few seconds? Absolutely. Well, like I say, Mike Bailey, he's different to the, to well, the old on, look, Mike Speedball Bailey. Kicks, Bailey uh, kicks Oku Whoa. away. And look at that. Wow, nice. Almost monkey flip without use of the arms there from Speedball Mike Bailey. Sidesteps Oku. Watch out. Speedball Mike Bailey flies through the sky. Michael Oku didn't get a chance to take a breath before Speedball just dove out and nailed him. Trademark Speedball Mike Bailey. No one does that dive better than him. Makes it look easy. I don't think he's holding his hand because he's going to shake it again. Oh. These two now. Why are they coming up here? This is, uh, again, it's already been demonstrated how dangerous this ramp is. But Speedball Mike Bailey doesn't want to use it for that. He wants to use it for a run up, doesn't he? He's, he's giving everyone a bit of a better view. Oh. PK! Wow, if Speedball play for England, no he way. might be European no champions way. Not right to the now. Knees. Oh! oh! Holy you know what. Oh my god. Yeah. And look at that hey. oh. And now Oku! Oh. Half grab applied! He can't win the match out here. Speedball tapping out on the ramp. But Michael Oku can't win the match from there. You can do enough damage though. And he's done a hell of a lot of damage. Do you see the way those knees just driven down into that steel deck ramp? And that was all Speedball's own doing, wasn't it? And Michael Oku just so happened to have the presence of mind to capitalise and connect with that half crab. And if he can do that same thing again, but in the middle of the ring, this contest is over and we'll be saying, and still. Oku catching his breath from the early, uh, early attack from Mike Bailey. And Mike Bailey, obviously, those, those double knees, he uses them for so many different situations in matches. This could play right into Oku's hands. Absolutely, it could. And look at this. Michael Oku recognises the trouble Speedball's in. Speedball also Speedball, recognises yeah, that exactly. trouble and reaches to the bottom rope. And again, kicking Oku away. He's favouring that leg now. You take away that leg, you take away his kicks. But Speedball's saying, I'll kick with the other leg. But you kick with the other leg, it's hard to base with that. Oh, oh, my God. oh my God! I think we're even now. No! Oh, wow! Now they definitely are. Did and you Mike, see Bailey, the way? Mike Bailey going to take a second to try and recover from that. Michael Oku threw everything into that drop kick. A, a sweet sidestep from Speedball. And it wiped out the undisputed British Cruiserweight champion. Neck first down to the canvas. Well, Mike Bailey, no messing around now. And a big chop across the chest. And I wonder just how that's going to vary up the offense of speedball Mike Bailey. He uses his feet, his knees, for so much of what he does. See, there you go. There it is.
And again, Speedball Mike Bailey, he does not care if he has to ruffle some feathers. But again, this crowd, from the sand, they're split. Straight down the middle. And you know just the sound of that crowd is going to fire up Michael Oku. It's going to wake him up. And you saw when Michael Oku um, came back took in front of fans for the first time, the tears streaming down his cheeks. That's how much these fans mean to him. That's how much the roar of this crowd means to him. And now Michael Oku going to need all the help he can get as he's looking to step into wow. that Hurricane Rana. But he licked... Oh! Wow, driven down into the knees of Speedball Mike Bailey. And look, you saw a poker face for a second, didn't you? But you know it's all. Oh, but he hurt I tell himself. you what, but he did it onto the oh, it's onto the top part of his knees, which yeah. again it's he still landed shin. A jarring motion, though. Still. Yeah. And now he manages to follow up in combination with both kids. Is he going to look for that shooting star corkscrew? Oh. oh, and he missed again. And this is what Michael Oku is doing such an excellent job thus far in this contest of doing. Sticking and moving. And look at that for some serious, serious hang time. Let's not forget the Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. I'm sure Francesco Akira will be watching this contest closely. But right now, all speed ball. And Oku can do is focus on one another, focus on the task at hand. They know that a target goes onto the back of whoever the winner of this contest. And it's nothing that Michael Oku isn't used to as he's fighting back with every ounce of energy in his body. As Oku now sends speed walk, no, no, reversal, hangs on to Zoku, keeps on midsection DDT, snap in motion from the champion, hook of the leg. There's a two count. That was a textbook cover from Michael Oku, but not enough to get the job done. Bailey in prone position here. We know Oku likes to use that springboard moonsault from the top rope. Absolutely, the lion salt with a twist straight to the top. And Oku! Well, Speedball moved out the way. Oku transitioned through to his feet, kept himself in this contest. Oh dear! Oh! Oh! My God, Oku thought he'd evaded Speedball again with the baseball slide. And Speedball went ah ah, and he flipped the script. He changed the page. And Speedball Mike Bailey now back in control of this contest. But with every landing, there's that little bit more punishment on the knee. Let's go Speedball! Speedball though noticing, he knows he needs to stay on top, he's not going to win the title with Oku on the outside. Golden Oku back in the ring. Absolutely he is, and Oku, we know he's the man's not got I, the words I quit in his vocabulary. Oh, oh no. The we're only reason he was defeated Andy, by Osprey was referee stoppage. We're on and the right apron. now. We know, I know. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I hope to God for his sake he hits this. Oh! oh he's and for a second he's time! Again! And Michael Oku, can he capitalise? Dropkick and Speedball hurtling out to the outside of the ring. And now is the undisputed British Cruiserweight Champion going to fly. Michael Oku, make your moment count. <laughs> yes, he does. Was we flopped to the outside. And the undisputed British Cruiserweight Champion is very much on fire. He's going up top. That frog splash, he must be thinking about it. Oh, into a sunset flip, but oh no! Speedball rolled through, big kick, and this time can Speedball get him? Oh, oh, oh my the knees God! Into the knees, and both men are in agony. Unbelievable. But Michael Oku, as he's done in the past, time and time both again, he grits his teeth, he fights through the pain, and he climbs to the second, and now top rope. Take it in, Michael Oku. This is your moment from the top. Frogs for the oh! this, is, this match is just a story of knees. Yeah, both men oh are being destroyed. God. Absolutely destroyed. And one would say 
that if Francesco Akira wasn't such a competitor, and I know in his nature he'd want either man at 100%, he'd be licking his lips right now, looking at the way this contest is going. Oh, anyone that says they won't take a slight advantage going into a match, Andy, is a liar. Any small advantage anyone can take going into a match, especially a championship match, they will take it. And look at this, you saw my Koku there. He doesn't want to get into a strike of his speed, but we tried to grab his wrist there to stop him. But he's fallen into that trap. And this is, if you ask me, this is a mistake. And like I've said it before, speedball isn't the hardest hitter, but he's so precise with his strikes. I'm talking he's a hard kicker, but when we're talking about those forearms and uppercuts, speedball is as precise as precise comes, and often precision and speed beat power. See that picture perfect. Absolutely. Straight to the side but of the jaw. The thing is with speedball, rocks. as soon as you see, if speedball ends up on the back foot, he will just kick him. He will kick him as hard as he can. Well, that's one of the things, isn't it? Oh, oh boy, you might not, not be able to. Because oh, like I not. said, one of the things about the kicks as well is you have to base off the other leg. So even if he's kicking with his good leg, he has to base off the injured leg. And that's going to put him in a compromised situation doing just that. And perhaps, perhaps that's why he's favouring those forearm strikes. And just say you see how compromised that leg is. Because that forearm strike sent Speedball down to the canvas at a time when earlier in the canvas, he just would have, earlier in the contest, he would have just stood and took it. This isn't one-way traffic, though. Mike Loke is also seriously compromised. <laughs> well, Oku. Is he, is, is he falling he asleep? Might, he might be out. No, he's, not, he's still in this contest, barely. I think the only reason he lifted his arm there was because Oscar Harding was telling him, respond to my request or I'll stop this one. And Michael Oku knows he had that contest against Osprey stopped. Oh, he went for the kick and Oku caught it, spins him round, super kick to the jaw, Speedball's rocked into the corner, Oku follows up, big boot. Watch out, Oku! Oh! Well, he played oh, the no, two no, he's looking for the Flamingo driver, he hits this and we got a new Cruiserweight champion! Speedball, my Bailey, with the move forward, no, 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 Oku finds a way out! Speedball through to his feet, kicked on midsection, Speedball the ropes, watch out! Into their knee, what impact from the undisputed British Cruiserweight Champion! Oku connects! Cover, hook of the leg and still, no, no, no! And Oku undeterred, follows through, huge lion tall! Michael Oku retains and again! <laughs> so, so close! Absolutely, it doesn't get much closer than that, does okay, it? Oka holding on to the foot though. It's nights like this that we live for. This is progress, it is best. The undisputed British Cruiserweight Championship on the line. And who's going to win this contest is absolutely anyone's oh. guess. Lozano, Oku finds a way out. Speedball breaks away the arms and finally oh. connects with those knees. This is what he's been looking for the whole contest. Grits his teeth through the pain. Hoist Oku up. And now, and now, Speedball Mike Bailey has him up. And we're going to see a Flamingo driver. Good night. And Speedball is a no! How on earth? But Speedball's undeterred. Speedball's undeterred. And Speedball perches Oku onto the top rope. And so many times you see men in that situation, you see almost a life sub out their body when their big move doesn't work, but not Speedball. He says, hey, I'm gonna go even bigger. He takes it to the top rope, and Speedball Mike Bailey is one high risk. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Jesus. The neck and a head driven down to the canvas, and can Oku capitalize? What a froggy cross body!
Oku now. Oh, mill shot. Did you see it? Oh, he nearly got him with a mill shot. A homage to his best friend, Connor Mills. The mill shot not enough to put away. Speedball Mike Bailey, but maybe the half trap will be. As he turns over Speedball and he's got it applied. And Speedball's thinking about it. If, if, if Oku can just sit back, think at the balance. Oh, okay, Speedball if found he, the ropes. He needs to he just get that balance to be able to sit down. And Michael Oku dives onto Speedball. This time it's Michael Oku who's undeterred and stays on top of his opponent. And Speedball straight out the other side. Watch out! I did it and again! Michael Oku gets him a second time. He throws Speedball back into the ring. Michael Oku wants to win this one in the center. He wants there to be no question marks about this contest. He wants to continue to prove his doubters wrong. Oh. And if he continues like this, he's gonna do it in emphatic fashion because he connects with a huge drop kick and finds himself on the outside of the ring, looking out to the crowd, teasing off their energy, and he's gonna take it to the top one more time. Obviously looking for that frog splash. No such luck yet. Is this the moment? It is! And Michael Oku connects and gets on the cover and he's still there again. How on earth did Sleeple kick out? It seems like this is what we normally say about the champion, but now we're saying about the challenger. How is he to the cap? And hang on, he's got he the sat top, down. and now he sits he back. He sat down. And now Sleeple, look at Sleeple's in agony. He's going to have to tap out or risk serious in injury right here. Or grit his teeth, fight through the pain, still risk the injury, and fight on. This is how much the undisputed British Cruiserweight Championship means to both men. A speedball, scratching, Oku. Oku's and clawing. Face he's exhausted. He is, yeah. He's, he's exhausted. exhausted. Setting in on Michael Oku. Oh, and that's... Speedball finds the bottom rope. And Michael Oku may have just gassed himself out that, right there. That he played into it. In that. that played into Speedball getting to the ropes. Oku yeah. is exhausted. That final flurry up into that frog splash. Yeah. Everything that Oku had left. Absolutely. He needs to dig deep. He's looking for it. Oh, no! Oh, Small break into the cradle! Oh! oh. What? Oh. This is how he pins him in Stephen Inch! Cover! New champion! New... No, 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 no! He's putting him back on top again. He's going to look for another Flamingo driver, I think. Oh, no, he's not. He follows him to the top. Well, whatever he's got in mind. It has some evil, evil intent behind it. I tell you that for nothing. Superplex by the looks of it. Oh, look, he's looking. Almost looking for a fisherman's suit. No, 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 no! Oh, oh my God! Jeez! Oh, my God! Unbelievable! Speedball Mike Bailey makes his oh. move! No! Oku kicked out again! How on earth did Michael Oku kick out? Suiting star knees, he's going to look for it! Oh, he's in. Oh. He's got, he he's, he got oh, he's out. How did he do that? How did he do that? Oku! Speedball trying to get to the road system, get done! No, he no. drives him into the centre! And he sits back and look at the talk! He he's got it. It's over! My God, it's over! What a contest! What a match! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner! I've got goosebumps. That was 
as physical as physical comes. Both men put, the, put it all on the line. But at the end of the day, it was a resourcefulness. It was a determination and dare I say the true grit of the champion that saw him through as Michael Oku retains and continues his history-making run as undisputed British Cruiserweight champion. And look at the look of joy on the face of Connor Mills, his best friend. That one was close. Connor Mills knows it, but Michael Oku is still your British Cruiserweight champion. We saw Andy at the very, very end there. After he picked up the victory, the people stood and Oku looked at the people and he was like, you damn well stand up. I've just proven my point and I tell you what, I will give the kid his fair dues. He's proved a huge point. But that passion, that determination, that emotion, you could see it at the end. It's like a frustration that the people just will not see him as anything more than an underdog. It came out. I tell you what, the best wrestlers in the world are here in Revolution Pro Wrestling. And you witnessed that fact first hand right there as Michael Oku showing just how much that undisputed British Cruiserweight Championship means to him.